Prices across all the markets have been in the red and very volatile over the last couple months. Bitcoin is down over 70% from its all-time high and the majority of major altcoins are also down between 80 and 90%. Step-in has been no different with GMT currently down over 80% and GST on both Solana and BNB down over 90%. I have done many different step-in tutorials and strategy guides which may no longer be relevant due to the drops in prices. So in today's video, I am going to be going over the current best strategy for step-in if I was starting right now, today, from zero and doing it all over again. We will be taking a look at what the investment cost would be, how many days to break even, looking at all different scenarios from just one sneaker all the way up to nine sneakers. I will show you guys what's the most efficient way to invest right now in step in and what the expected days to break even could be. Also, I will be finally choosing a winner from last week's video who commented on the video and watched all the way to the end. The winner will get 100 GST and you can potentially win another 100 GST if you watch today's video to the end. So stay tuned, let's dive right into it. So let's jump into it guys, let's take a look at the spreadsheet. As you guys can see, currently the prices here for Solana is at $37, GST is ever at around 18 cents and GMT is at around 78 cents. Everything that we will be covering here is going to be as of this recording remember these prices change literally by the second by the minute by the hour so by the time you watch this video all of this could potentially be completely different i'm just giving you guys the tools and basically the formula to be able to do this yourself so in these case scenarios i'm only taking a look at the joggers sneakers we will look at scenarios with one sneaker three sneakers and nine sneakers using a variable of different strategies including using uncommon so the first scenario that we're looking at is if you just buy one common sneaker what's the best most efficient way to enter the market and what is your days to ROI days to break even so if we take a look at this here you can see from the start that the best fastest ROI right now is the level 19 common sneakers currently sitting at about 4.77 Solana which is about $179 the current days to break even right now on this level 19 sneaker is about 72 days. So about a month and two weeks. You can see that if you were to buy a level 28, basically a maxed out sneaker, you would have to pay almost double the cost of the level 19 and you're really only making three more GST per day on average. And for all these earnings, what I basically did was just use an average base stat. I put basically five for efficiency, five for resilience. I used the stepin.guide website. I put it up to the level and I optimized it and just kind of went with those numbers. So for just three more GST per day, it is not worth paying twice the price. Just doesn't make sense. And it also makes the break even be 35 days longer. So I would stay away from level 28. I would look to buy level 19 sneakers as it is most efficient and remember these are current prices as of this recording these were the floor prices for each level so if you spend a little bit more or if it's a little bit cheaper you gotta change those numbers up so the next scenario that we're taking a look at here is if we were to use an uncommon sneaker and just have one sneaker what's the best most efficient way to do that and is it worth doing right now at these prices so taking a look here, you can see all of the floor prices for all the respected levels. And if I were to buy just one sneaker right now, one uncommon sneaker, I think the best bet right now is a level 28 sneaker. 
At the time of this recording, the floor price on a level 28 was about 21 Solana or $786, which would be earning you about 31 GST per day. I feel like this is way better than just getting a level 19, which is pretty much about $130 cheaper. I rather spend $100 more and the days to break even is almost the same. And I'm going to be earning four more GST per day and I don't have to worry about leveling up the sneaker. So it seems like the best deal if I was looking to get one uncommon sneaker however I don't think this strategy is very efficient if you're only getting one sneaker I don't recommend getting an uncommon sneaker just to have one sneaker right now days to break even is 135 days that's over four months so for this investment I feel that there is a better way that you can spend that money to make more and get your investment back faster so the next scenario that we're taking a look at is if you were to buy three common sneakers so the idea here is to buy one lead or main sneaker which is the one that you will be using to run walk or jog every day and then buying two floor priced sneakers to get you more energy because if you only have one sneaker you have two energy but if you have three sneakers then you have four energy so the strategy here is to get the most efficient common starting sneaker which we agreed was this level 19 sneaker here for about $179, which is exactly what we did. And then we just got two floor price sneakers. At the time of the recording is about 3.25 Solana or $122. So a total investment for this scenario, this strategy here is about $422, which will be making you about 26.6 GST per day, which brings your days to break even at 86 days or just under three months. So right off the bat you can see that this investment is a lot cheaper than if you were to get one uncommon sneaker the most efficient uncommon sneaker would cost you double the cost of these three common sneakers you're making just a little bit less but because your investment is almost half the price your days to break even is just way faster. So this might be one of my favorite strategies right now, but let's go ahead and take a look at the others to see what is truly the most efficient one right now. All right, so the next scenario that we are looking at here is if we had one uncommon sneaker plus two common sneakers. So because we have the uncommon sneaker in this scenario, we have five energy versus the four energy. Same idea as before, we're going to use the most efficient uncommon sneaker here which we agreed was the level 28 for 21 solana so the total investment here would be about a thousand and thirty dollars you would be earning 51.48 gst per day and your days to break even would be about 108 days so this one is not too bad but 108 days is still a lot more than this one right here with three commons, you're hitting break even in 86 days. But where this one wins is that you're making basically double the amount of GST that you would be making here with this setup. Here, you're going to be making double that. So you can see that I just added how much USD per day um, the average daily earnings would be. So on this setup, you're making about $9.50 per day. On the three commons setup, you're making about $5 per day. So again, the three commons setup is still the most efficient setup where you get the most bang for your buck. So I would probably skip this one and, um, and not start with the one uncommon, two common startup if I was starting over from scratch today so the next setup that we're going to take a look at here is um, nine common sneaker strategy so the idea here is to buy one main sneaker that is a common sneaker of course the most efficient one is the level 19 sneakers and then we're going to buy eight other sneakers at the floor prices just so that we can get those extra energy so that's gonna put us at nine total energy or 45 minutes of earnings per day so in this setup you see that the total investment here is about eleven hundred and fifty two dollars so about a little bit over a hundred dollars more than the one uncommon plus two common setup you're making a bit more on your average daily earnings as well you're making 59 here and in USD per day, you'd be making around $11 per day as of this recording. 
So days to break even here is 104. It's just, it's, it's too long for me. Um, this is probably not a strategy that I'd jump into right away if I was starting over right now. It doesn't feel like the most efficient use of the funds for what you would be making. So um, I'd probably still be skipping this one as well. Next, we're taking a look at the one uncommon strategy plus eight floor price commons. So again, we're buying the level 28 uncommon sneaker plus eight floor priced common sneakers. Brings our total investment to about $1,760 with this setup. Brings our average daily earnings to about 102, 103 per day. And our days to break even goes down to 92. So this is definitely a better setup than the nine common setup. We'd also be making more money in USD, uh, basically $19 per day on these runs. And I like that the days to break even is so much less than this one and even this one right here. So the only drawback on this setup is the initial investment. Basically, you gotta take out almost $2,000. So if that investment is too much for you, then I don't recommend this. I don't want you to risk so much, but if you have a deeper bankroll and maybe a higher risk tolerance, then this may be something that you would want to look into between these two setups i am definitely going to be leaning towards the one uncommon plus eight and remember that this gives you 10 energy because of your uncommon bonus so here's actually my exact setup right now at these current prices if for some reason you wanted to just have the same exact setup that i have i have a level 28 uncommon sneaker and then i have two other uncommon sneakers just for that plus one bonus the way i got the other two uncommon is by minting so i didn't actually have to buy them but if you were to buy a level 28 right now we're going to use that same floor price around 21 solana then we're going to say that you bought two other uncommon at the floor prices so about 11 each then all the other sneakers could just be common floor priced sneakers and then the other thing that i have on my sneakers is the efficiency gem level three and a resilience gem level three so the total for this exact setup would be around 37 3800 so this is earning me about 210 gst per day it's actually earning me a bit more than that around more around 220 230 per day on the step in guide it doesn't give me the exact number i actually can't get my resilience with the level three gem up to the same number that i actually have it on my sneaker so i think i'm actually making around 230 per day here so let's just switch that to 230 it brings the days to roi on this setup at around three months 88 days making around 42 dollars per day and i'm including here what you would be making per month which is an extra 12 1300 dollars for you to go out and get healthy. So yes, you may be saying, Jay, making $2.45 per day is not worth my $179. Hey, it might not be worth it to you, but it's still an incentive to go out there and get healthy. And eventually in 72 days, you can potentially get that investment back. And then if you start looking at the other scenarios, yeah, their investment is going to be a bit more, but you're also going to be earning a bit more. You can see here on the three common setup you're earning about 150 per month on the one uncommon plus two commons 284 per month the nine common strategy will make you about 331 per month the one uncommon plus eight commons would make you about 569 per month and my current setup is making me an extra basically 1300 dollars a month and remember if prices go up then this is all going to be more and the days to break even will be shorter and if prices were to go down after you bought then days to break even will also be longer and what you're making would obviously be less so after going over all of these different scenarios i think the best investment if you're looking to invest under one thousand dollars is the three common strategy it would only cost 422 days to break even 86 you'd be making an extra 150 dollars per month once you got to break even if of course all stayed the same my next favorite setup if you're looking to invest over a thousand dollars is going to be the one uncommon plus eight common strategy that's going to be about a thousand seven hundred and sixty dollars 
days to break even is about three months and you'd be bringing in an extra five to six hundred dollars a month after you hit break even and last but not least there is one more strategy that is frowned upon by a lot of the people in the community but it is still an, a strategy that is allowed and that a lot of people are doing that's the three by three strategy basically you get three different accounts so maybe you can have one on your phone and two others on different devices and then you will put three sneakers on each of those devices. Remember when multi-accounting, you cannot move with all three devices at the same time. So if you have, for example, here you would have 12 energy, which would be split into fours. So you would have to do four energy at a time. If not, the anti-cheating system will catch you and then you will not earn anything. So this strategy would be an investment of, of about 1266. You'd be making around 79.8 days to ROI. This is the fastest possible days to ROI, which is about 66 days. So a little bit over two months and you'd be making around $441 per month after you break even. So at the end of it, guys, the way that the numbers are working right now, you're paying to incentivize yourself to go out every single day, walk, jog, run. If this is something that you already do, then you could potentially be making money to do it. If it's something you want to do, but you've never been incentivized enough, then here you go. You can now put some money out there. You have some skin in the game and that's going to force you out to make sure that you create this good habit. And if and when prices go up, guess what guys, you probably got in at some of the cheapest prices possible to get in for this project. If it doesn't work out, then at least you went out and created a good habit and got healthy. At the end of the day, none of this is financial advice. The reason I believe in this project is because it is beyond just crypto. This is something to get you and your family, your friends healthy and out there walking, building relationships and possibly making some profits. The potential for this project, I think is still huge. They announced a couple days ago that the third realm is going to be released next month. And today they announced and teased with this picture here. They said ready to ape in, find out more on July 1st. And of course, there's a sneaker with a bored ape. This could be huge. All right, so without further ado, let's see who is the lucky winner of the 100 GST who commented on last week's Step In AMA video. Here we go, let's see who the winner will be. And the winner is... Hemraj Saini. I'm pretty sure I'm butchering the name and saying it wrong, but Hemraj, congratulations. You are the winner of 100 GST. Please contact me on Twitter, Bitcoin X daily, and let me know that it is you so that I can get your details to airdrop you the 100 GST. And if you stay to the end of this video, we're going to do the same thing. In the comments, write hashtag team watched till the end. Just like his comment right here, except without these spaces. On our next step in video, we will once again pick a winner from the comment section and give you a hundred GST. All right, guys, I am tired of talking. This is it. I'm cutting it off here. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure to smash the like button. Make sure to subscribe to the video. I'll catch you guys on the next one. As always, peace and love.